Yo, what's up, gang? Friday night. The week is done. The month is done. We're starting fresh on Monday. Now we get a chance to rest this weekend. Boy, I slept like crap all week. I can't wait. I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow. Hell with it. Um, anyway, you guys, very good week as far as AMC goes. I know the price did not reflect that. I don't think none of us are concerned with that. We all know what we're waiting for. Uh, but every day we just get news after news after news. Um, first thing, I want to touch on a few things here, you guys. Well, again, first, thanks for all the comments, subscribes, and likes. The only thing I'll ever ask for you guys is just like the videos and subscribe if you would like to. Um, a ton of interaction. I'm getting back with everybody. I answered 120-something comments today. Outstanding. Super fun, you guys. All I ask for you. Um, boy, I tell you what. We were not letting this thing finish below 10 bucks, were we? That last five minutes there, that squirt, I'm sure most of you guys seen that there. That last minute, I think we had 1.3 million in volume that last minute or so. Finished at 10.03. So that is very, very good news. We all know what went on today here. It didn't move down much at all, but boy, oh boy. Manipulation, right? Um, options. All these expired in the money, the 10 bucks, all these up here, the big chunk, and the important was that $10 mark. Would have been nice to hit up to 11 and 12, obviously, but still, very good piece of news. All those are in the green, right? Um, another thing, too, I'm finding crazy. I found a couple things on this here. Boy, oh boy, are they getting desperate, these dudes. Um, this guy here, Stocks Are Life, over on Twitter, very good. I follow him. He always is updating stuff and tweeting out all this madness in here, but very good. He he, he tweets a lot during the day. Um, this I found interesting here, too, and there's a couple things I want to show you guys here on this matter, but uh, they're getting desperate, I think. Uh, but look at this here, AMC Gang. The hedgies want a piece of our Discord. This is referring to the AMC Discord. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in that, too. The hedgies want a piece of our Discord. Daily offers, we will not bend. Their offers double as soon as I reject. 28K apes have power, and they want that power. I will not sell out. Let's stay strong apes. They are desperate. These dips are one of their last attacks. So this is a little Discord message back and forth with, I believe it was him. Um, our offer is whatever the heck it was for the Discord. The payment can be either in BTCH or ETH. Come in with a counter offer if you would like. Are you interested? Hmm. All right. Well, offer is up to blank BTC. I will be able to do payment first as long as you find a trusted escrow or somebody with high influence that can act as a third party. Come on, we're all in here for the money. The best I can do is this. So he's offered, looks like two more offers after the first initial one, right? Uh, via Bitcoin. We are offering almost blank per member that you have, not including all the spam bots you have in your members list. So that's just madness. Craziness. Um, this one I found too here. Reuters article, um, watching WSB. Carson Block was some sort of hedge fund dude, uh, founder of short seller Muddy Waters Research, said he keeps an eye on line chatter in forums such as Wall Street Bets, where users are often attempt to coordinate their buying in stocks they believe are short squeeze candidates. We are now watching closely, says Block. And there's a more in there, but that's the main thing. So look out, boys and girls. Oh, boy, are we freaked out or what? Jeez Louise. Um, I'll show you guys the trusty old Ortex. Um, if you guys haven't seen this, I'll pop GMEs in there. This video is going to be mainly about AMC only. But as you can see, again, utilization at 100 Cost to borrow here, days to cover here is going up a little bit. This is remember, this is Ortex's data. Um, I'm only going to show this because I don't think a lot of people have access to this. But you can always check iBorrow Desk and Fintel as well too. Shares on loan, free float, estimated short interest or free float, and then uh, short interest over there. GME. Let's just show this real quick just for fun. Utilization didn't change much over here, 56%. Cost to borrow, 1.33. Days to cover, 0 0.53. Shares on loan. Percentage of freeze float on loan. Estimated short interest of free float there. And exchange report short interest over there. So that's that, you guys. Um, we went over that. 
This one here, these fails to deliver, look at this. I'm going to pull this up on the SEC website tonight and look through them. You can pull up that big, huge, uh, I don't know how they have it in maybe a Word, some sort of Word file and go through them. It's a million miles long. I'm going to go through that tonight, too, and, and make. I'm, not, I'm sure this is exactly right. But look at this madness here. Um, first at, or March and then April. There's March and April's right there, 31,276. End of April, 54,000. First uh, reporting quarter, or first of uh, April's reports, 2.7 million. April 13th to 14th, we saw an additional 2.25 or 2.2 FTDs on just AMC itself, not including any EFTs. So that's monstrous news, right? Holy crap, holy. Um, this here, this was a piece that I got on Twitter. I think Jackson Hunter, the YouTube guy, tweeted this out or he shared it somewhere i seen it was on reddit and they said you know give thanks to him so yeah this is whoever put this together is very good comparing the two right from january short squeeze of 200 percent and then today's present day action right so when it squoze in january shares on loan were 58 million shares on loan as of the 28th were 155 million days to cover 0.28 Days to cover now, 3.73. Utilization, 95.52%. Utilization now, 100%. Cost to borrow right there, 4.90. Cost to borrow here, 13.25. Percentage free float on loan, 18.79 in January. Now, 37.15. Short interest, 13.96. 24.06 down here. So, that is... Uh, pretty big difference right there right <laughs> Jeez louise that is outstanding um one other thing you guys i'm going to get out of here early i just want to touch on a few things i'm going to get some sleep tonight i am beat up boy beat up i'll leave you with this one we gotta watch jimmy kramer it's only a, a minute and 50 long here but let's let's enjoy this for a second look at his face look at him right there <laughs> watch this you guys it's only a minute long because we're in an environment where the definition of good isn't uh, isn't just good, it's whether or not it's better than Google, for example, in the case right. of Microsoft. Right. Uh, that's very true. And a lot of people would rather buy something that's truly awful that is uh, doing better. I mean, look at Nokia, okay? Nokia is truly awful, and it's been up now for two days. I buy no Nokia, if I say that Nokia's going to become a meme stock any minute. Boy, the meme stocks, they've just, the new meme stocks, the, uh, the microvisions, they have just been annihilated. So we're even losing that cohort. I don't know what they're, I don't know what they've decided to move up today. What is their gang tackle stock name? They should just go to Nokia. Yeah. They can take it to six. Yeah. I wonder, Jim, you know, we've, we've, talked, uh, we've talked about a lot of the bloodletting and some of those meme names, certainly a lot of them centered around mobility. At this point, do you think that trading community has, I guess, learned a lesson, for lack of a better phrase? No, they don't seem to be able to learn anything. Um, I, I think that they, I think that though they'd rather buy uh, an Alexa than they would buy a stock. Uh, because I think that they realize that it's fraud. But the pe the hardcore people, the ten I don't really believe that there's 10 million people on Wall Street bets, frankly. I think there's seven people, and all they do is invent new names. And they keep recommending <laughs> AMC. Uh, look, Microvision was a company that, I mean, they did something like $400,000 in sales. And, and that was supposed to be the breakout LIDAR pick. I don't know how they make up this stuff. I mean, they, they do have a yeah. great time. I have to admit they have a great time with their little names, taking them up, enjoying themselves. I mean, I think they, they should actually watch Warren Buffett this weekend. It might be revelatory for them. Um, that is going to be... We have to finish up with old Jimmy Kramer, don't we, boys and girls? I don't know why I'm obsessed with watching him in misery, but I sure as hell am. You guys, that's it. Let's get some serious rest this weekend. I know I have to. I am beat up. Let's get out. Enjoy the weather. If it's rainy, ugly, or whatever, let's stay away from our cell phones, our iPads, iPods, our tweeters, our Twitters, our uh, Instagrams, our Facebooks, and MySpaces, all that stuff. Let's put it down. Get some rest, you guys. Uh, love you all. Thanks again for everything, all the likes, comments, subscribes. Again, you guys, I cannot thank you enough. Remember this weird little community tab. If you want to pop some messages in there for me 
or on the video. I love responding back and forth with you guys. I get back with everyone. So that's it, you guys. Get some sleep. Go AMC. Next week's going to be a ripper. All right, guys. Have a good one. Night-night.